Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Heart, Mind and Mechanics of Coaching. We talk about the energy side of coaching and today I have as my special guest, Melissa Curran. Melissa is the owner of Scented Balance Inc. She is a certified aromatherapist. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, that's not energy work. It's to support energy work big time. And I am so happy to have her with us. She is um, somebody who developed her own blends to really support your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual well-being through the wisdom of pure essential oils, which I absolutely love. Um, this is a calling for Melissa. I don't think you went to school to study this, right? <laughs> no. Um, so like many of us, you did something far more practical, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, but this is is where your your heart is. It's where where your love is, and you do just such a bang up job of this. So I am so excited to have you with us. Thank you so much, Wendy. I really appreciate this. This is this is a wonderful opportunity to share my passion, and I get excited and all wound up. And <laughs> so, well, thank you. <laughs> I am so glad because. When we do energy work, I work a lot with business women to help them with clarity, with focus, mm-hmm. with alignment, uh, with, you know, taking the parts of, of their personality that are splintered off and create limiting beliefs and grow those up and reintegrate them. But it would be so nice to be able to say, you know, and when you've done this work and you re-listen to that meditation, then go get this essential oil or, you know, mm-hmm. put this on your wrists or the back of, of your neck while you're listening to this meditation, because yes. it's going to support you. So let's talk about how essential oils can support these wonderful ladies. They are amazing. Um, it, it supports you in every way, shape and form. And, and that's where I get excited. And it's like, what do I say first? <laughs> <laughs> Um, aromatherapy goes back like thousands of years and truthfully it comes from plants it comes from trees it comes from fruit and flowers and botanicals and it's the original medicine so this was medicine before the pharmaceutical companies got involved in the in the mid 20th century Um, this is what your wise women use we're using what I call the bounty of the earth it's the wisdom of nature I mean we all know Nature knows what she or he, whichever you prefer, um, nature knows what she's doing. Right. And I would love to meet the person who said 5,000 years ago, you know what? That's lavender. I wonder if I rub it on my head, if I'll calm down. <laughs> or, <laughs> or there's a birch tree. What if I strip the bark and suck on it? Will it make my headache go away? You know, I, I mean, I find that kind of stuff interesting. But getting back to your question, um, it's been over years and years of observation and actually doing some clinical trials that essential oils have components in them from the earth that are good for body, mind, and spirit. They're, it's helpful for anxiety. It's helpful for stress. Some of them are good for perking you up when you're sagging and others when you've just had enough and I can't take any more. They're good for um, clearing out that exhausted mind. Right. And what it's doing, I call this my woo-woo perspective because it's sometimes it seems like it's a little out there, but I believe this. Since body, mind, and spirit is connected, Mm -hmm. a a pure essential oil blend, a synergy blend speaks to your soul. It it feeds and nourishes your energy. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's how it is connected. So it is energy work to a certain extent. I, I, I believe it is. Well, I think that that it certainly supports all of that work mm-hmm. and uh, can make it more effective. Mm-hmm. So when you're dealing with, with your energy, um, particularly on days when your energy just seems to be all over the place, mm-hmm. right? You know, a really good essential oil can just bring you back in and focus you, calm you down, um, let you get on with the things that you need to get on with. Mm-hmm. And I, I love that aspect um, I mean, apart from the fact that it just smells so yummy. Yes. The, the actual... I make life smell better. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the, the, the way that the effect that it has on, 
on your emotions, the effect that it has on that vibration, that energetic vibration mm -hmm. um, yes. is just so profound. And I think that, um, you know, it, it's really interesting that we have people like you who, who are certified aromatherapists who have been studying this and understand that as opposed to, well, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll go into, um, uh, you know, my favorite uh, organic food store and just take something off the shelf. Right. So let's talk about um, some of the things that affect business women most, um, because those are the people that we, we deal with a lot. Um, and so some of, especially now, where there are just so many demands on, uh, on people, because we are not quite open. We keep saying we're open for business, but we're not right. quite, we keep getting, you know, having to pull back because of what's going on in the world. And there can be a lot of stress when you're trying mm -hmm. to, to manage your house, do your work from home. Uh, perhaps uh, you've got children at home as well that, you know, are demanding your attention more than normal because they're not sitting in school. Um, the amount of stress that that can kind of build up to the point where you just want to go and bang your head against a wall. Exactly. Uh, can be enormous. So what, what would you say for the, uh, for those types of situations? I would say, bless you. Number one, to every woman out there, we bear the burden of society. Mm -hmm. I, I just truly believe it. And in the middle of a pandemic, as we are in the middle of it, folks, yeah. we're not out of the woods. No. Uh, women are bearing even more of the brunt. We are taking care. Of course, we're supposed to be taking care of our kids, but we should have spouses that help us. And that's not always the case. Or the spouse doesn't take as much responsibility as they're supposed to because eh, she'll take care of it. And then we're homeschooling and, and we're doing all this. And so the load gets heavier. And what I've noticed, because <clears throat> I read a lot, I listen to some podcasts Women are drinking more. We are stressed to the max. Yeah. And, you know, we can talk about self-care. Mm -hmm. let's, let's all take a moment and collectively roll our eyes because everybody's <laughs> going, oh, spare me. No, it is. It is important. But I understand if, if you, especially if you're a single mom and you're an entrepreneur or you have a high pressure management position or you're in sales or you are the CEO, God mm -hmm. bless you ladies too, because you're breaking those glass ceilings for us. You can't always just sit down and let's take a long warm bath and meditate for 20 minutes and whatever. Yeah, that ain't going to work. So that's where essential oils come in. And that's where wonderful energy workers come in to help us. And, and a lot of times what I tell my clients and the people who come into my shop, which by the way, I'm going to move out of the way. This is part of my shop. <laughs> so Beautiful. welcome to Scent and Balance Aromatherapy Shop. <laughs> um, if you can stop for 15 seconds, I didn't say minutes, I said 15 seconds and just take a deep deep belly breath through your nose slowly and slowly let it out through your mouth their self-care and what's happening there is you're accessing the pure oxygen at the very bottom of your lungs and your blood needs that and when that starts getting into your blood stream you perk up a little bit you're not quite as stressed so it's a way to self-soothe it's a way to calm mm -hmm. your stress um this is where i've got little roller balls and it's going to be hard to see i've got a light on so that you can see and i'm doing it backwards like a dentist this is called anxiety ease and this is a roller ball that you just put on your wrist you can put it right here if you're uh -huh. having a moment you can roll that this anxiety is right under your nose. So you're smelling it. You can put it because you see my skin is a little shiny. I am drenched in essential oils from my roller balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use my own products. Absolutely. I got about six of them on right now. And I think what's helpful about the anxiety is, is it calms your central nervous system down. Uh-huh. I, I can't work magic and do this for you. You have to do the work. You've mm -hmm. got to take the deep belly breaths. You have to slow down for just a moment. Right. But essential oils 
pure ones, and I'm insane about that, they provide a tool, a right. tool to help you so that you don't have to do this alone. So the, so now the, we, the wonderful thing about that, um, Melissa, is that you know, all of us are in, we were just laughing about this, that we're all in so many Zoom calls where, you know, we kind of yeah. go from one one to another. <laughs> that this is something you can do between Zoom calls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it's so fatiguing um, to... Go pee, wash your hands, and put on your essential oils. <laughs> right. I mean, that's that's all you ever have time to do, time right? For. <laughs> and, and it's a, a wonderful way of just kind of perking back up and thinking... Okay, let's get on with the next thing and, and to kind of realign mm -hmm. your focus at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and I have one for focus too. <laughs> actually, and that's brilliant because um, I know that, you know, for a lot of us who work from home, everybody thinks, oh, you work from home. It's, you know, what's the problem? The problem mm -hmm. is that you actually end up working harder because you can else. go from one Zoom call to another Zoom call to another Zoom call to answering emails, writing a proposal back to a Zoom mm -hmm. call without leaving your desk. You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to go to a meeting room. I mean, all of this stuff just crams everything together. And so, you know, having an, you know, five, even just five minutes as you're running to your restroom, grabbing your yes. essential oil as you go. Yes. It's just amazing. Um, it, it's, it's so uh, helpful in that regard. And I think the other thing that pushes that stress button is when we're all working from home, as we did for a while, mm -hmm. there is no quitting time. I get in the car or I get in the bus or yeah. I, or take the train, however you do it. We're yeah. not doing that. We've got the 30 second commute and everyone says, Oh, you are so lucky. Not necessarily. I, I'm not leaving the house very much. Yes. I'm dressed up. Um, and I, yes, I've painted my face, um, but there's no delineation. There's no 20 minutes that you can sit in traffic and, and breathe for just a moment without screaming yeah. kids. Yep. And that just adds to the stress it and does. women are drinking more. And instead of drinking more wine, yes, I'm guilty. Mm -hmm. I was having an extra glass of wine every night and that's not necessarily good. It's tasty, yeah. but not good. <laughs> Wrong tool. <laughs> you know, and, and quite interesting, like I don't drink, my husband and I don't drink um, because it interferes with our meditation. But what we found with this, this particular pandemic of not getting out and seeing people and having to deal with a lot of things um, in a manner that's probably not um, ideal is that, the stress was still mounting and it comes out in other ways mm -hmm. where you, your sleeping patterns are broken. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're not, um, you're not taking those uh, you know, those 20 minutes to, to go, as you say, somewhere and mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and just uh, be able to relax during, and, and I know it sounds weird, but to relax during the drive, because there's so much as, as much traffic on the road right. or, whatever, you, you, you don't have that anymore. And so what's happened is a lot of that stress is showing up in other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, we have digestive issues. Yes, absolutely. We have skin disorders such as eczema and psoriasis. Um, you're having migraines. And yeah. if not migraines, you're having more headaches. Mm -hmm. So all of this... Um, or, or I, I'll even go one step farther. I have a client who came to me and said, I'm just mad. I am so pissed off and I don't understand what's going on. And it's like, well, let's take a look at your life because I'm also a holistic life coach, mm -hmm. which means I've learned to ask very pointed questions that make you think. You don't have to answer the questions, but I do want to make you think. Right. And, and if you're normally, um, you know, if you know, I won't say a happy person, but if you're normally not a pissed off person, we'll say mm -hmm. it that way. Right. And then all of a sudden you find yourself just, oh, I'm ready to punch somebody out at the drop of a hat. And I don't understand what's going on. There's anxiety. There, there's a disruption. There's your stress. Mm -hmm. And you're not connecting the dots yet. Right. And the interesting thing is that sometimes that energy coming in, we tend to think that when we're around people, that we might pick up their energy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but because we're more housebound, 
Mm -hmm. Um, We tend not to ask ourselves, is this my energy or is it somebody else's? Mm -hmm. We just assume that it's ours because we haven't been around, but you can pick, you can still pick up other energies and they might not be yours. And they do need to be cleared. And mm-hmm. we do need to ask those really tough questions that we've forgotten because we think because that we're not around other people. Therefore, it can't be me. You know, it, it's, it can't be them. It's got to be me. So you're, you're right. There's a lot of people with a lot of stress, a lot of anger, a lot of really mm-hmm. dark feelings. And uh, they don't know what to do with them. Right. They don't, they don't realize they're not theirs. They don't know how to shift them. And so... That's why we come in, isn't it? That's right. In doing that energetic work, you know, while it's important to, to do the work, to shift all that stuff, having something like an essential oil, when you're done to support what you've, the work that you've been through, um, I think is, is really important. I actually have a roller ball and, and uh, we'll talk about, you know, how you can get these things because I would love your 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 listeners and your viewers to check out my website but i have one in particular that a customer helped me create and she said several years ago that she is a female and she works for a landscape company and that's Mm -hmm. all male and they don't listen and it just made her mad and she said i need i need something for the mad and i said sounds like you need bitch away and she says yes i do and so i have a rollerball called bitch away and it is for (laughs) those white hot moments when you're gonna punch somebody in the throat and you're steam you're about ready to explode and you literally put this on your heart put it on your wrists Mm -hmm. and it will help diffuse the moment i can't make it go away right I, I, it's like I tell folks, I can't fix, cure, heal, or change anyone. I can offer you a tool right. to help you in your process. So uh, that's where essential oils, they've, they've kind of gotten a little bit of a bad rap here and there because there's so much misinformation, but they yes. are amazing tools mm-hmm. to help you let go of anger, let go of trauma, work through the frustrations, work through the stress. They're wonderful tools. They, they absolutely are. And I'm, I'm really had the, glad that you're here to talk about them because sometimes when we work through something um, with a client or, or even on our own and we manage to shift in energy, that energy often wants to come back. Mm-hmm. And an essential oil that helps to, to really kind of seal the deal, if you like. Yes. You know, we've dealt with you. You're gone. You're out of here. You can't come back. Just having that essential oil as a support tool, uh, I think is just uh, awesome. I don't know. Uh, something that I have learned to do, there's some pretty dark emotions that come up. And I think we all have our moments mm-hmm. where our energy is um, heavy and where it is darker and we we're, right. we're processing junk and we don't know what to do with it. And sometimes for me personally is just, of course, my roller balls, all 16 that I put on, like I said, I, I'm drenched in them, right. <laughs> um, but just to acknowledge mm-hmm. what is going on and say, yes, I am angry. I am angry because Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, my job is not going well and my kids are underfoot and my spouse isn't helping me. It's good to acknowledge it and say, thank you, which well, sounds ridiculous, but I, I just believe you need to thank some of these emotions and say, okay, you're showing me where my energy, number one, needs a little bit of work, mm-hmm. needs a little tweaking, but where I'm not aligned. And if I'm not aligned, what yep. is one tiny, tiny, tiny little step that I can take? I, I, I don't want to tell you to jump off a cliff because you got the three kids and the spouse and the job and the school and schooling. Right. But what's one tiny step you can take with those emotions mm-hmm. to honor them and Absolutely. Then let them go? Absolutely. What you push against just grows. So yes, just Just, I always picture when, when there's a, an emotion that comes up and I tell this to my clients, just picture yourself sitting on a step beside Mm -hmm. your emotion and just treat it like a little child. That's having trouble. Don't try to judge it. Don't try to solve the problem. Just sit there with it. Mm -hmm. Let it be. And usually it will dissipate within, Mm -hmm. um, you know, 90 seconds or so, but it it just wants to be heard. 
Yeah, it, it, just, <laughs> it just wants to be acknowledged that it's there, that you've got this. And then you can go to whatever your support essential oil is. And after mm -hmm. you've done that exercise, just put that on to give yourself a, a little support to go forward. No, absolutely. We had talked about something that you do that I think is absolutely amazing. And I am so glad you do this, Melissa, Thank because you. there's a shelter here that, um, that we love to support. Thank and you. you have a rollerball where you buy one and you give one um, to yes. women who are uh, victims of domestic abuse. And I think this is so wonderful. So why don't you tell us about that? Yes. Uh, thank you for asking about that. Because I am a survivor of domestic violence in my 20s. And I didn't have any resources. And it's still, I, I thought I had healed from it, but it's still very tender. And um, a dear woman I know uh, several years ago had a vision because she was a, a domestic violence survivor. I want to call you a survivor. And so she, her vision was to have a safe space called Annie's Hope Center for Healing and Growing okay. for women. Uh, even if you have children to come and heal from the trauma and the abuse. And so what I did that, that entails what's called emotional healing. And I know it's hard to see this um, I, because of such a glare, but this is called emotional healing. Uh -huh. And I make a roller ball and I also make a body lotion that you can put all over your body, but the essential oils in here are more of a spiritual in nature to help you release the old traumas to open your heart up once again, to um, open up what I call the crown chakra, that energy center that connects you to whatever divine you believe in, your higher power. And I just am so excited um, about Annie's Hope Center. It officially opened this past Sunday oh, for the wow. first client. Yes, yes. And we had, wow. a, I was invited to the blessing ceremony and um, it's a beautiful space to come heal and, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe brush up your skills to learn to start the next chapter of your life. Right. So for each purchase of this emotional healing rollerball, and it's 1999, you give one to a sur survivor of domestic violence at Annie's Hope Center, and that's located in East Bend, North Carolina. I'm in the central part of North Carolina in this mm -hmm. state, and it's about 30 minutes from me. Okay. And this is something I can do to give back and pay forward mm -hmm. uh, from my experiences. And uh, it smells awesome because it has Palo Santo in it, and it just it smells so good. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that that is just such a a, a blessing. Uh, so thank we'll you get for to, asking. And we'll get to how people can can get to you to to uh, buy okay. your products in just a moment. Thank you. But before we do, um, my last question is: um, so how how can we use essential oils? There there are so many different ways. Um, so what what is best? What you know? What works? Uh, for your clients, what have you found, um, you know, when, when they should have a roller ball, when they should put in an infuser, when they should have a bath or whatever. Um, let's talk about that. The, it's, it's truly a personal thing. There are several ways that you can use essential oils. My favorite way is just to diffuse them throughout the house. Of course, I'm sitting here again, my skin is shiny <laughs> because I got my roller balls on. Um, again, that is the best, to me, that is the best way. It gets it into your system very mm -hmm. quickly. So uh -huh. however, and let's say however long it takes to you personally to, um, take a Tylenol and it starts working. Maybe that's 15 or 20 minutes. That's mm -hmm. about how long these essential oils are going to take yeah. to get into your system. So it just depends mm -hmm. on the person. I right. love to put them on my heart area, diluted. And um, again, all of my roller balls, they're already diluted. It's safe for you to open up the lid and start slathering them on. Okay. I love the heart area. The symbolism of your heart is all about self-love and it's your lifeblood and, and it's everything. Right. And that is sometimes symbolically put it there, put your essential oils there, mm -hmm. let yourself know you love you. Um, you can put it on your inner wrist. You can put it right behind your ears or on the back of, the, of the, your neck. Mm -hmm. um, another way is the, a diffuser. You can get them just about anywhere. Uh, your favorite mm -hmm. supermarket probably carries them. Add a few okay. drops of either 
um, a single oil like bergamot or lavender or mm -hmm. peppermint, or you can do a synergy blend. I have several synergy blends. You can get them maybe for something that you want in particular, put a few drops and let it permeate your living right. space or your cubicle at work. Mm -hmm. um, another great way is to put, a, let's just say a half a cup of Epsom salt mm -hmm. and sprinkle a few drops of either your favorite single essential oil or a synergy blend, mm -hmm. put it in the, in the Epsom salt and then put it in a warm bath and just right. soak. Right. Um, Epsom salt is very good for detoxing your system anyway. Right. Um, but when you put the essential oils with it, for instance, maybe you've had a very hard day. Mm -hmm. You can put two drops of, let's say three drops of lavender and two drops of eucalyptus into um, a half a mm -hmm. cup of um, Epsom salt. And start your water in your bathtub and, and mix it in there. And you're going to get something, the, the, the lavender will relax you. It will help balance because it's good for balancing all mm -hmm. of your systems, body, mind, and spirit. Eucalyptus is wonderful for that foggy uh, monkey mind, what I call it. My brain is just running and running and running right. and I can't calm it down. Mm -hmm. And so this is a really good thing to do at night before you go to bed is lavender and eucalyptus together in a hot bath Oh, and then climb into your jammies and crash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you can actually open up a bottle of essential oil and smell it. Just, just smell it. If you have a sense of smell and not everyone does, mm -hmm. um, just smell it. Right. Um, and that's going to get into your system the quickest. Your mm -hmm. sense of smell is connected to your limbic system. And your limbic system goes right into that bloodstream. That is going to be the quickest way is smelling it. So there's several ways that you can do it. Wonderful. So if, um, if our ladies would like to, um, to find out exactly which oil they should use for what, can they find that on your website? I think so. I have a lot of blog posts on there and I go through different oils and say, and different life events and what might help with it. So yeah, I think so. <laughs> There's a lot Great. of information on there. I work with, with chakras. I work uh -huh. with some of the energy centers too. Right. Uh -huh. um, and there's a lot of information on there, but I want to make it simple. I want to make it easy and fun. Using essential oils, really, I want it to boil down to being fun for you, even when you are trying to heal emotionally or trying to deal with an upset stomach or a headache or a migraine or God knows we all have those hot flashes. <laughs> and essential oils can, are wonderful tools for all of these life issues. They absolutely are. And I'm, I'm so glad that we have the resources um, to, mm -hmm. to be able to, to find you know things that that support the other work that a lot of us do, particularly um, for those of us running businesses and we're just kind of run off our feet. It's so nice to be able to say, you know, <laughs> I'm going to connect with my favorite aromatherapist and figure out what it is I need for this. And then I can get back to what it is. So. And, and there's two areas that I have expertise in and I, I have gifts. We're going to call it gifts because I do believe we should each claim our gifts. And, and as women, we aren't, is apt to stand up and say, I have this gift and I want to share it. We're taught that that's not ladylike and I think that's wrong. So my gift is helping people manage their chronic pain because I can do that, but also custom blending. So you're unique and you have a particular need and maybe you can't have lavender. So one of my stock blends isn't going to work for you. And so you need something custom. That's what I do. Uh, and that's because brilliant. Absolutely. Thank you. Right. And, and I don't want to leave the guys out. So for any of you who, um, who identify as male, this is <laughs> to leave you guys out. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You know, um, I don't have children at home anymore, not even grandchildren. They're scattered around. Um, but I do have a husband who has heart issues. Okay. And, um, and knee issues. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you get older, things happen. And so, yes. um, 
you know, for, I know that people who are on heart medication often can't have certain things, Mm -hmm. um, you know, like grapefruit or whatever. Um, and so some things I don't let him near because of, uh, of those issues. So it's nice to know that you can do custom blends for people. Yes, who have, absolutely. Who have yeah. Cause issues. if you're on a blood thinner, for instance, yeah. you need to stay away from peppermint because it's going to come out to nose. Yeah. That blood will come out to nose if you're on a blood thinner, especially the old, older blood thinners. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you, you need to know what you're doing. And, and this is what I tell everyone just because it's plant-based doesn't mean it's safe for everyone because cocaine is plant-based. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. So you, while they're relatively safe, far safer than the toxic chemicals we get at the drugstore, you still have to know what you're doing a little bit and understand if you might be sensitive. So, and that's where I come in. Absolutely. It, it's so nice to have a professional that you can talk to, that you can feel safe with, that you get to know and who gets to know you. So that's yes. Um, yes. Thank you. Okay. So great. So how do people get hold of you? This is the important part. Well, I am active on social media on Facebook and Instagram. I am. My handle is at scented balance. Uh, my website is scented balance.com. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn under Melissa Curran, but good luck finding me there because there's like 10 of us. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I have an evil twin. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> But I'll bet um, your evil twin doesn't smell as good, right? <laughs> uh, I think you're right. <laughs> uh, and my email is balance at scentedbalance.com. And you can find my phone number on, on any of the social media and my website. And I would love to talk to you. Um, and we can talk about what, what's good for you and what you need in particular, because you're unique. Perfect. We want to take care of you. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for all of your wisdom. I am so happy that we had a chance to chat. And for all of you who are watching this, um, what Melissa is doing is just such a gift for being able to support all of the energy work that you're doing. You're going, you're working really hard trying to align all of those business actions with um, your energy, then it's really nice to be able to support that with those yes. essential oils. So I'm very happy we had a chance to chat. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for inviting me. This has been wonderful. I, I'm excited. And thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, stay tuned for the next episode that will be coming shortly. And thanks very much for watching everyone. Hello and welcome back. Hope you got a lot of really great information from that video. Now, before you leave, there are two things that I'd like you to do. The first is subscribe to this channel and make sure that you get all of the really great information that we're going to have coming to you in the months ahead. Now, the second thing is to go to www.wendybyford.com. And when you do that, you're going to land on this page you're going to be invited to watch a video called the five things that you need to know before you start your business. Now, if you've already started your business, no problem. I just go through five questions that you really need to answer in order to build the business that you'll love. However, more importantly, when you put in your name, your first name, your last name, and your email address, it's going to take you over to an opportunity to sign up for a discovery call so that you can find out if learning more about the universal laws is going to help you to accelerate the growth in your business and in your life. So go to www.wendybyford.com, watch the video if you would like, but more importantly, click on that button to say, yes, I want to book my call and let's have a conversation. Oh, before you go, remember to subscribe to the channel. Bye.